host for tonight. I'll be joined by my beautiful co-host. Hi, I'm Willa Salame. I'm Ifrah Ifrah. Nice, nice to have you guys here. So we have a long, interesting program. This is our second annual Somali Community Festival. We had our first festival last year. It's being organized by Our Helpers, which is a nonprofit based here in Columbus, Ohio. So we're pretty excited for this festival. So we're gonna start off with Horsed Noah. Horsed Noah, make your way to the front stage, please. Please welcome Horsed Noah. Thank you, Smile. Bismillah. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Peace be upon all of you. Um, I just want to start with a Quranic verse in which God Almighty says, A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu inna akramakum indallahi atqaakum. I'll come back to the translation of this verse, but I just want to say a few words. First and foremost, I would like to thank our elected officials, the distinguished esteemed guests who have blessed us with their presence. It means really a lot to us that you're here with us tonight, honoring our culture. Thank you so much. And please give them a round of applause. And I would like to thank from the bottom of my heart our helpers because of their consistency and because of their professionalism. Uh, Sister Hodan, Brother Ismail, and their, the whole team, thank you so much. Um, and having said that, it really means a lot to all of us, especially me, to celebrate the culture and the tradition of a country crippled by civil war more than two decades ago. So. Those of you who are here tonight, I just want you to remember a few things. Number one, the verse that I've recited, God Almighty says, O mankind, ya yuhannasu, inna khalaqnaakum min dhakarin wa untha, we have created you from a single male and female, وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا And we have made you into tribes, nations, and nationalities. Why? لِتَعَارَفُ So that you celebrate your diversity. So that you get to know each other. And that is why we say Islam never changed people's culture. It polished it and it beautified it. Islam always recognized and honored people's culture. Um, I just want to say a few things about the Somalis. First of all, we pride ourselves to the fact that Islam reached to our country, our region, way before it even reached Medina, which is where Prophet Muhammad is currently buried. Because when Islamophobia was at the peak in Mecca, the early Muslims fled and migrated to present-day uh, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Somalia, which was then known as the land of the Habishas. So that is one thing that we pride ourselves on. And number two, Somalis are so passionate about poetry. That's why we are called nations of poets. In fact, if you read all of the anthropology of Margaret Lawrence in her studies, she calls Somalis the nations of poets. So, So that's the, you know that's all I wanted to say. That a we pride ourselves in the fact that we are the nation of, of poets. Uh, I remember I have memorized uh, you know uh, uh, everything that was said about my dad when he got married, and everything that was said about my sister when she got married. This is what we call brambur, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of brambur tonight, right? That's why I think all of you are here tonight. You know I grew up around my grandmoms, and I love brambur especially when they say that's really my purpose so so I just wanted to say these things and again thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um, if you could please give one more round of uh, applause for uh, you know our helpers and everyone who really took part in this portion so thank you it's really a noble project Thank you very much, Horsed Noah, for the lovely words. <laughs> really appreciate start our stuff right in the right spirit. So Somali community in Columbus, Ohio is estimated to be around 60,000, and it is the second largest in the nation. 
Tonight, we will celebrate Somali music, arts, culture, and excellence. Special shout out again to our generous sponsors for making tonight possible. If you could please ra rise, raise your hand or stand up um, so we can recognize you tonight. Flickinger Legal Group, once again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Greater Columbus Arts Council. Thank you very much. Art is what makes life beautiful. Horizon Science Academy and Noble Academy. Thank you to our educators. Experience Columbus, Megumi Robinson and Beth Irvin as well as Amy and Zoe for helping her market the festival. Thank you very much. So our next performance will be by uh, Brother Latif Shadli, who is a world-renowned singer, performer, poet, who has literally traveled across the planet. Uh, and I'm gonna have him make his way to the stage, hopefully at this time. Latif Shadli. Thank you. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Amazing, amazing vocals. All right, so the next person I'm going to introduce is one of my favorite artists. His name is Ahmed Rasta, and I think a lot of you guys might be familiar with him. Um, he's going to sing the national anthem, or Somali national anthem for us. Please welcome to the stage, Ahmed Rasta.
goosebumps. Whole room, right? Oh my gosh. I heard you guys sing along. I'm so glad that many of us know the lyrics, right? It's very deep and personal. Sarah, that was so beautiful. Okay, very loud, I apologize. So actually, we're gonna have a presentation done by Fatma Ismail, and she's the program coordinator for our helpers. So she's gonna do a short PowerPoint introduction into the Somali community, kind of contributions we made to Columbus, Ohio, Somali history, independence, sort of sort of like a short PowerPoint presentation for hopefully our non-Somali members of the audience so that you get a kind of a general understanding. So hopefully, let's give her a, a round of applause, hopefully, Fatima Ismail. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Are you guys enjoying your night so far? Hi, great. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is greet you with a greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum. So I'm going to give you a quick introduction of the organization that put this event together, our helpers. Go to the next slide. So this presentation is going to be divided into three parts. First part is uh, intro about the organization, then uh, about Somali history and culture, and then about Somali norms. Next slide. And next slide. So first thing first, our helpers, does anybody know where that's at in Columbus? All right, great. Only a few people? Wow, okay. So our helpers is located actually on Morris Road, um, and the organization is a social service organization. It does many services. It has educational services, so we do ESL, um, we have case management, we also do job placement. So if you know any new immigrants, or refugees looking for work, uh, we definitely have access to um, employers who can help them out, especially if they don't speak English very well. Um, we have a lot of those services. Next slide. So the mission of the organization, that is to help immigrants and new Americans overcome social and economic obstacles through advocacy, education, job placement, and connecting them to resources available in Central Ohio. Next slide. The vision of the organization. It's to create long-lasting self-sufficient um, self-sufficiency by improving community cohesion, cohesion, removing language and cultural barriers, and promoting the use of technology for learning and teaching. So now that you know a little bit about the organization, I'm going to go into um, Somali culture and norms. Next slide. Okay. So. How many people know where Somalia is? <laughs> I hope, okay. So Somalia, it has the longest uh, coastal border um, in Africa. A nickname, what's a nickname of, of Somalia? Horn of Africa, what's another nickname? Okay. <laughs> Another nickname, uh, the land of the poets. So Somalia is known for a lot of things. Um, it is on the border of both the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. Um, as many people know, Somalis are nomadic, and um, so they do. There are so semi-nomadic herders, as well as uh, fishermen, farmers. And the name Somali actually means uh, comes from the Somali word Somal, which means milking. All right, next slide. So Somali people, as you know, are predominantly Muslim um, from the Sunni branch of Islam. Next slide. Um, Islam actually came to Somalia very, very early on. Um, there was a migration to Ethiopia during the time of the Prophet. So many people say that Islam came to Somalia through that influence as well. So Somalia. There are um, five points on the star that's on the Somali flag, and the five points uh, represents the five regions of Somalia. So that is the colonial French region of Djibouti, as well as Somaliland, which was colonized by the British, uh, southern Somalia, which was colonized by Italy, and then there's also the Somali Ethiopia region and the Somali Kenyan region. The Somali flag was adopted on October 12th, and it was de designed by Mohamed Awale Liban. And the Somali, Somalia gained its independence July 1st, 1960. So look out for Independence Day parties and events, especially around that time. Um, and Northern Somalia actually gained its independence from the British earlier. Um, that was June 26th in 1960. Next slide. 
So a little bit of the Somali language. Okay, so I don't think a lot of people knew, but Somali actually used to look like that. So before the Italian, um, before the Latin words that we, wording we used to use, we used to have um, our language written in Osmani. So it's a form of Arabic. So Somali used to look like that, and after um, in 1972, a Somali linguist uh, designed the Latin um, writing. So in Somali words, a lot of times X is ha sound, and C is the a ah sound. So a lot of people are tend to be named like Abdi. It's C A B D I, not Kabdi. So that's for people who are educators in school for you to understand that. Um, Hao or Halima, it's an X, not Zawo or Zalimo. <laughs> so. Um, and a lot, Somali also has a lot of Arabic influence and a little Italian influence. We say things like basta, ciao, <laughs> stuff like that. Next slide. Okay, so Somali language predominantly is very similar across um, different tribes, but there's a lot of dialectal differences. Um, as you guys can read over there, there's Northern, there's Benadir, there's Mai. Um, and uh, yeah, so the Somali Arabic and Italian words, they do come from the historical trade and colonization. So being where Somalia is in the world on the map, we had a lot of trade influence um, our culture and our language as well. Next slide. So the Somali national anthem, which you just heard, we actually have two national anthems, Somalia Toso and Koloba uh, Alinkin. So the first one, we actually have uh, the writer of that um, Somali national anthem. He's in Columbus. I believe he might be here today. His name is Ali Mire Awale. And the writing of that national anthem dates back to the early 1940s and was officially adopted in the 2000s. Um, the second national anthem was adopted in 2012. Next slide. So these are important Somali figures in history. Um, on the left side, those three statues are of a woman, a strong warrior woman named Hawa Tako. Um, her statue can be seen in Somalia, and she's often on stamps and on money. So she's a very, very important historical figure in Somalia. In the middle, those are called the Founders of Liberation. Um, they are the Somali Youth League. They helped bring liberation to Somalia as well. So they're very important to the history. And on the right side, um, his nickname is the Mad Mullah. You can look him up into history. Um, he, there's a statues of, um, you, he has statues in Somalia as well, and he really helped when it came to um, fighting against colonization. <laughs> Yeah, I could 
bit more people dancing but shout out to the girl in red up I don't know oh. control room next track <laughs> So we're going to have our phenomenal elected officials hopefully say a couple of remarks and then we're going to proceed to the awards presentation. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. Good evening. How are you? How are you? How are you? Let me thank you for the great honor and privilege of being with you. Would you honor our master and mistress of ceremonies tonight? Give them a huge round of applause. What a privilege and honor for me to be with you tonight. I want you to know how much I love you, I appreciate you, and the truth is I would not be here tonight without you. So God bless you. God bless you. And I need to say to the Somali community uh, how rich you are in history and culture. And in fact, you enrich all of us in the city of Columbus, in the state of Ohio, and this great nation. Because of you, I look in the faces of our young people, and I want them to know that you are great. We appreciate you. We look forward to you serving our nation uh, and with excellence in all that you will do. God bless you, and thank you for the privilege of being here tonight. It's a hard act to follow. State Representative, our State Senator, Herschel Craig. Would you get up for Herschel Craig, please? 
also, let's give it up one more time for our helpers and all the sponsors who are putting on the second annual Somali Cultural Fest. My name is Shannon Harden. I have the honor of uh, serving you alongside of my colleagues as Columbus City Council President. We are so honored to be here today. Um, Representative Craig said it correctly. Uh, Columbus is enriched by you. Our culture now is Somali culture. We speak often of the growth of our community and the diversity of our community. You are our city. You are the future of our, our community. You make us stronger, and we're just so blessed to be a part of it. Thank you so much for having us. And I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, my friend, Elizabeth Brown. Thank you so much, Council President. Um, I'm a Columbus City Council member. My name is Elizabeth Brown. It is so great to be here tonight. Um, and I thank you for having us, um, for hosting us. And I have a couple, I want to make an announcement first and foremost. Um, we do have coming up on December 1st a uh, one of a kind opportunity to, we're hosting, Columbus City Council is hosting a Somali American town hall. And it's the first of its kind. It's the first of its kind, and it, council members will be there. We want to talk directly to folks in the community um, so that we understand what is it you're facing that you can use our help on. Um, what are the, the, the strengths in the community that, that we um, could help champion? How can we be better partners um, in the community? So please come out on December 1st. You can get this flyer. If you see this flyer? You can get this flyer with all the information at the front table out there. It's from 11 to one on December 1st. And I'm going to turn the microphone over. I just want to say quickly, um, I have a three-year-old daughter, and um, she loves Hoyo's Kitchen. Uh, we go there frequently. <laughs> Loves it. We have a little, um, she and her friends, we have a little like toddlers eaters club and um, we love to go to Hoyo's Kitchen. And then the second thing I'll say is, you know, when I was growing up and I was in elementary school, uh, we were a lot of times kind of taught about one of the strengths of, the, of America is that we are a melting pot. Um, you know, that's a, that's a phrase that we hear a lot. And, and I believe that um, our diversity is our strength in America. But as I've gotten older, I've actually realized that a much better metaphor is not a melting pot. A melting pot takes a lot of different ingredients, puts them into one pot, swirls them together, and they all just become one kind of mass of something, right? Like brown glob, right? All the colors together. But what we are is a jigsaw puzzle in America where every single piece matters, every single piece is different, and it makes one big beautiful picture. And so thank you for being a part of our jigsaw puzzle in Columbus and in America and um, making us strong. And with that, I will turn it over to uh, C uh, Columbus City Council President Pro Tem. Oh, I'm sorry. Next, we will go with State Representative-elect Mary Lightbody. Thank you, S City Council Member Brown. I'm so glad to be here tonight, and I want to tell you that although I speak two Asian languages, both Chinese and Thai, I'm looking forward to learning more Somali. All I know how to say is salam alaikum. And someone just tried to teach me to say hello. Um, see, <laughs> I've forgotten already. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I, I, it's, a, it's a great honor to be here. I worked very hard to get elected in District 19, which is Westerville, New Albany, Gahanna, Minerva Park, and bits of Columbus. If you live in my region, I'd love to have you come up and talk to me at some point tonight. If you don't live in my region, I'd still like to represent you in the Ohio House. The more I have contacts with you, the better educated I can be, the better I can represent your needs and your wishes in the Ohio House. Thank you very, very much for having us all tonight. 
Good evening, everyone. It's great to have everybody here at Northland this evening in this wonderful facility. Very pleased to uh, be a part of the celebration tonight. I'm honored to be here. So many great friends in the crowd tonight. I see uh, Burhan Ahmed and so many more of you that we've we've known each other over the years up here in Northland. You guys are, you know, I just echo the sentiments of every all my colleagues and the other representatives up here. We are blessed to have you in our community. We are blessed that we are able to celebrate your culture and the diversity that it brings to the city of Columbus. We're excited to do more of this in the future and thankful to be so much a part of, of your community. So thank you very much. I'll turn it over to President Pro Tem Michael and our future County Auditor Michael Cinziano. So you can tell which ones of us have been on the ballot and which one have not. That was Council Member Emmanuel Remy, did not introduce himself. So I am Michael Cinziano, very proud to be uh, your Columbus City Council Member and future Franklin County Auditor. As Senator-elect Herschel Craig mentioned, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our wonderful neighbors uh, throughout the community. And so thank you all for your ongoing support. As you've heard, City Council couldn't be more proud of the diversity, economic vibrance, and impact you have to continue to grow our city. So congratulations. Congratulations for the second annual uh, event tonight, and thank you all for what you continue to do for our city and region. With that, I now have the honor, on behalf of Columbus City Council, to present some awards uh, this evening. And I'm not sure what protocol will be, so Ishmael and I are going to make it up as we go. Okay. First, we are going to recognize Delmar TV on the occasion of the Somali Culture Night. So we have a couple of Delmar representatives in the back. I think they're working the cameras, so maybe not the best choice, but they're in the back, so uh, we'll hopefully proceed to the next one, okay? Our second award recipient is the Somali Youth Foundation. So if I could ask Shakir and Muhammad Farah to make their way to the front for the Somali Youth Foundation. I see Shock here is hard to miss him. He's 6'4", so it is kind of hard to literally miss him. It's very hard to miss. <laughs> Somali Youth Foundation does phenomenal work outside for combating youth violence, promoting civic engagement. This work is beneficial and influential to students and families in the city of Columbus. It's crucial to the function of democracy. We thank them for their work and know that they make a great impact in the communities that they serve. You want to do a quick photo? Can you hold it? Yeah. So our next recipient is a close friend of mine. She's absolutely phenomenal, a community activist, and a mother that has done phenomenal work. She has built three schools back home in Somalia in areas that have not seen any education whatsoever. So she's absolutely, she's just, I mean, it's, it's hard to put in words. That's how amazing she is. So if I could have Amran Ahmed make, their way to the, make her way to the front. Marka Saulo Suratin Amran Ahmed wa Hoyo. وقف بشدة ذو تاجن سدح سكول بكل است الصومالية ملوين أو سكول ولي جل واركن عروتين تبالي سن وحبر شهي سن بيو تاجنيد هدرنا واحد تاجن تاس بتالين الاستو مركب وقف له اللي كرمال هذا ورت أمرا
So our next recipient is another community activist. He's one of the organizers of this festival. He does absolutely amazing work, both as far as community service, as far as youth programming. He's absolutely phenomenal. His name is Abdi Gese. Please make your way to the front. award goes to the organization who without them we wouldn't even be here. This goes to our helpers. They truly are our helpers. Hadan Mohammed, are you? Come on up. Hadan is a pioneer. She's industrious and she's amazing. We'll give it to her. Okay. Okay, I believe that concludes our awards presentation. So thank you so much to, again, a round of applause to our council members, state representative, state senator-elect.
There's a lot of success in, in, in Somalis in Central Ohio. Uh, we have a lot of businesses that's booming. And one thing that I want to tell the policymakers here tonight is somehow Somalis have a entrepreneurial spirit in their blood. So everywhere that you go to in Somalia, or for that matter, anywhere that Somalis live, you will have a lot of businesses that Somalis own. So it's something that we actually take for granted. And it's something that we like our policymakers to work with us and see if we can create a sustainable might within Somalis in central Ohio. For the interest of time, I know the people are not here to listen to me. There is a famous people already in the building. So for the interest of time, I'm trying to see if I can wrap up my speech with three minutes. So I can make everybody happy and hopefully the podium will stay for the next three minutes here. The bulk of the businesses that we have in Central Ohio are primarily for healthcare, childhood uh, uh, daycare centers, tracking businesses, which is actually very popular within Somalis. And by the way, I come to find out track drivers are the most efficacious group in Somali. Because every time that I travel outside the country, people ask me what I do for a living. And I said, I don't know, I do different stuff. And they said, are you a track driver? <laughs> Because somehow there's a dilemma within the community that track drivers has all the money. So if you guys are going and planning to go to Somalia particularly next time, see if you can say I'm a track driver because you will be in a good hand. I promise you for that. 
So to wrap up, the areas that we create a lot of businesses and actually infested is the health care, as I said, particularly uh, uh, the home care agencies. We also infested a lot of, uh, uh, C we have a lot of providers, by the way, who are a CMP, certified nurse practitioner, who are creating a place that our elders or the people who still need some care are going there and talk to those providers and get the help that they need. The other areas that we infested actually on Somalis are making enormous progress is the restaurant industry. After all, we like food, right? Of course, I do, we do. So Somalis have a lot of restaurants, and I will encourage for non-Somalis who are here to go out there and taste Somali food. It's actually delicious. And I'm glad, and you will glad you did. I'll conclude, since I'm economist and I don't have the numbers in front of me, we are a commissioning a research by Wright State University who is conducting a broad research for Somali businesses, the impact that they have in Central Ohio. And I hope the next year the study will be available. And when, they start, when the study will publish, the policymakers and the community will know the might of Somali businesses in Central Ohio. And I hope we will spread that study when it's published and we can learn something from it. So in behalf of the, you know, my friends here, I want to thank you for coming tonight and thank you so much for inviting me in this podium. Thank you. So, thank you so much. Let's have the control room open, open the corners back up again. Marka shil gishin na ilahe din kuma kena shil insha Allah din kuma saadani shil lakin la Allah da shil gishin ilahe din kuma kena nima kena uji maada so maha insha Allah marka wa hukusur uksur uwenia Justin Flickinger Thank you Salaam alaikum Just by raise a hand who has ever heard of the Flickinger legal group the Easton lawyer or Russell I'm glad to see a lot of hands out there. If you haven't seen me, you probably have seen me somewhere on Del Mar TV because I advertise there like crazy. What we are is we are attorneys who handle injuries. And we have been practicing law, not me so long, but Russ has been practicing for almost 35 years now. Russ's first Somali client was in 1998. And based on the last speech, you can tell that was pretty early in the whole swing of things here in Columbus. I'm here right now and I want to talk to you about community because that's why we're here. We're here for community. I want to thank each and every one of you for welcoming, welcoming me into the Somali community, me and my family. I don't have an exact number, but I believe that the amount of individuals we have represented of Somali descent is nearing 15,000. And from the sounds from tonight, it sounds like that's about one-fourth of the population here in Columbus. So I would like to say that there are some things I have learned from the community, and I truly want to thank you for these things. Hoyo's Kitchen, Hamdi's Grill, I eat at all the time. Twice a week, I'm at one of them. The food is phenomenal. The dancing is wonderful, and the singers are terrific. I want each and every one of you to know that it is my honor to represent the community in every way possible. I want to give a round of applause real quick to Ishmael and our helpers. They have done a tremendous job helping this community. As a business owner, our helpers to me has been the role of they fix problems. Our mission is simple, is to empower you, to educate you, and to um, facilitate a better access to health. Our mission, our vision is simple. We want to confront the disparities, we want to seal the gap, and we want to remove the barriers that exist in Franklin County. We are here to invite you tomorrow for the grand opening of MedCare Clinic. Thank you so much. I don't want to take your time. Nobody wants to hear about health when we are all enjoying. But you need to be healthy to be able to enjoy your life. You, be, you need to be cognizant. You need to be an active participant of your health. That is very important. Amina and I have combined 18 years of experience from critical care 
urgent care, and now as a hospitalist with you, uh, Ohio State University Medical Center. <laughs> We chose to leave our jobs for you. We have seen the demand that our community has, the language barrier. We are here to eliminate the misdiagnosis, the underdiagnosis, and the overdiagnosis. When you come with Somali language, sometimes we do not have the terminology, the Latin terminology or the medical terminology, and sometimes you can be misunderstood. Now you can come to Medicare Clinic. You can tell us you have Warabo. And as a person raised in Kenya, I wouldn't think you're talking about the wolf, but I know what you'll be talking about. So please come out tomorrow at 2 p.m. at 4125 West Broad Street to celebrate with us. Be reading the dispatch tomorrow. We have been featured two days ago. And tomorrow will be on Teen TV from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to educate the... So let's actually open the currents back up again and let's play Plaque Truth Track 3. Thank you so much. I'm <laughs> 
Dubai fashion coming through, so Dubai fashion. Too small is in the house, too small. Make some noise. Mohammed Barastimul, we're out here, Khalid, we're out here, 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 we're out 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وحنا عاوز اللي مذا وذا جدونا ما سمج عيد الله يرعى ضاعد ما سلا سواحكم بلا ما يساسات سوق عند ذا شدة اسكو صوت دب عشدة مال درير كوج نيد دب كشدة بختي سدة مرنا كلا دركي سدة ندود يدويان ضاعد عنكو شجية دعوة عنكو فدية دايم باوك صون الظلمي يد السجن نمد دبنا هاي جو مفرو دقن وها من جرت هاد ضرورة دوشة نيو أنكت كي يد بايشيو بر صاد الرورية دي رماد عد عد يد يحيي يفتين كوا مد الحيس يعني ديق بويان داي كيكو أما مد الحيس يعني ديق بويان داي كيكو أما ربعين عدرينته هكلا عنده وياه وش اللي جود راي دين تنا بال مارين داي يرانك فاناي مركز تبع دروفو وياي كلا دم بويان مركز تبع دروفو وياي كلا دم بويان مركز تبع الظروف على النقطة مركز تبع الظروف ويك على دمبيان عو واد ما شاد بالرواد ذا القرو هدي أي طبيب كي الدكتور رضو كباران وحكى لبدن تي ذا دقني على جاهلين دقني على جاهلين دوني ذا تكون ناس شاي ذا كان عاد نحكي وقتها هل هي يا كده يدان ديك سياح أو درع أنا نقد مين يروح عند تيس جرن كم أشغال سندلان دول أنا قلنا الدروش ما أقل دير إذا نعلن كرين حرق صود الدرنا وكروح يقدي لاري دق الروح كم رأي دعل ولي قاعد الدنيا ما دونا يعني كقدو العاجسين أدي أي طبيب كي الدكتور رضو كباران وحكى لبدن تي ذا دقني على جاهلين هذا الله متجان يسوع لما يل ظروف له درانية هراد بدن هداد عيل دياره دولي سودولي علي هشي مال دجانه وبح وبحدوق قريين حمدي أود عاد بدي هذه أي طبيب كي الدكتور رضو كباران وحكى لبدن تي ذا دقني على جاهلين هذه قد دجال يا كوسا قريت ظروف أذق الله ديك ضبيعي هدو دولار يلا عج مولك هو قد يقنا قدنا يقف كيدرن دنير تراح النعناء هدي أي طبيب كي الدكتور رضو كباران وحكى لبدن تي ذا دقني على جاهلين روح يدير الدرع لا هذا الدبع سنة تبدأ هو أو نقطها بدك كلا ولا ألك يا ده كوجد بعبان ده وكعجب بيران ده جنانت دغسي هذا يسيد الدريان وكوش يا دبوب هذا هدي أي طبيب كي الدكتور رضو كباران وحكى لبدن تي ذا دقني على جاهلين أي دون الدم باب يدو وقعد كبر دي دم اللجوح على جميع إن يتحيد دب آخره دين تابش يا كتير عرب كعجب ضربت يد القاف كيوبران دوني داني بالعربي نكو مدير نحي سه أبي ديان لقو قدر إن دون تكاد وذاكتان دون تكاد وذاكتان دين تكاد وذاكتان دادو دي قوي دين سما سومالي كولا ديرا هدي أي طبيب كي الدكتور رضو كباران وحكى لبدن تي ذا دقن يعني لقاهلين هدي أي دن كان تبع دول الروح تاتري إسر آت كد قتيه دول عيق واعب قبل ما هاد دور كيد هدي أي طبيب كي الدكتور رضو كباران وحكى لبدن تي ذا دقن يعني لقاهلين وعبد الله كما سيد يانا سيد الدبر ويان سيد الدبر علينا هذا الكبك صدوب ده بصعد كجعل هذا عادي قوم كده علينا مسلم درا شلات هاي دقن دين لهوات هاي روح لقود يلات هاي وما تنتين كربس
عشان Hadkugama, tidak kubibah, 
tayar ku halashado hita chirilo da badan بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ومجعي وحالي يرادا محمود عبد الدعر وحان تميدا هاي أكس كمبنيق اللي يرادا أكسس تكنولوجي سلوشن وحان ما انت مطقا انا كاقرب قادنا انا سومالي كاوتشر وحان سوم بنيقا انا بسنس كان اي وحان سومالي بو قبرنو اي وبسنس اي كلو مطقا انا اي ودنا كمريكن كجرو يعني وحان يا وحان قبرنو بحان كميدا سيدا تلفوننا دا تلفوننا عركي سين وحان اسكالي عن مجا او مطقا انا بطقا او بروغرام انا او حرم مطقا انا نمبر كي او بهاي هين السينو وحان سبينا انفرسترينجر كنا دوا قودن ايام بطقا او لسنا وحان كاتلنا قيبت مطقا انا انوائزين احان او سبينا اي تي قود iyo waxyaalo u baahan waxaan bil galay naas sarfarada waxaan bil galay na applicationada dadku baahan websayada wax walba ay tii ku saabsan oo dhan ayaan sameeyna kambaniga magaalada waxa la yiraahdaa access technology solution waxa soo booqan karta website keena accesssol.com address keena waa 495 moss road congress ohio thank you very much ada ma um we are concept school school and this we are horizon science academy and noble academy Concept Schools is celebrating their 20th year here in Columbus, and we have just opened our fifth charter school, Horizon Science Academy Primary, which is right down Morris Road. We have Horizon Science Academy Elementary, Middle, and High School on Morris Road also, and Noble Academy is on Bethel Road, servicing students grades K to eight. And we are a uh, public community school. We accept all students. We are a public school. We are not a private school, but it gives you that private school feel because of our relationships with our families and parents. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Magayi wa nasra hasan ali. Inta ba nduku hayi qara nasru som. Awa haadu wa farahsana hai ina kisokad galo. Shwa wa qabana ya kiham bisu haya. فرحدة لما سو كوي كرم حاي لي مدام كوميونتي جي ما تستسر بالجريان أي رجليان بيجت بيرجلين تودا يا هات ما بسو جاري وحن كلو أمها دعينا يا ولا شيء فلس أول جرت كاميرا ما شاء الله أنا وفرح سنة هاي إن عاو ما شاء الله سبارك ما أدي ما شاء الله تين في معنته ما في كرم كم يلا بدنا عالم كيو جاري سيدا إن ولي أفريقيا مش سو جاري لا مريكا يلا بدنا أيو كجاري هذا يرتاع يسرير نورد امريكا تودك الجوكتا أنا أدوك هون وعوي إن أمة الصوم على يد وعيل كيده تليار ليده يجيب كده ود دونا بق نقول برار الجيو تايه هودي نقول برار الجيو أفكودي نقول برار الجيو دال كودي نقول برار الجيو هدو هودي سيس الناس هو بحل أمة ولا بق ولا لا يعم تسيو يمل غير غير عو دال يدان أمة دقم بلا عيد تاريخ ولا عيد هيدا ولا عيد دين ولا عيد دي بدأ على الشارع هذي بس كوه بعرف بس كيف بدري هدي إنه ما كان إنه شو بنا عن ضيع الله يعني الباعة هو وترنو تاريخ وترنو تلمان وترنو يقول عمير دوام على يا مرجع ميت جاره ولا لا يقول سومالي برنامج كاري ما جاره ولا جاي وحنا طبعا إيه واجب تاعي 
umat kesamaan ilmu yang jujur dan tak jadi disel. Berangan jangan lupa tu. Sulaiman Rahman Rahim. Awo abis ayat hai tu dari tuan. Kita abis koyu tuan. Wahan awo ku kawan yang nama galah dari Columbus Ohio. Havlut di labat takkan ke Somalia. Oh ah takkan ke ni. Takkan orang Amerika. كما بدنا إن لا تقتنا كما ذا ليسكو براروتيو لجها الله وحنا نهانجه من لجها الله وحنا كنا هاي أمريكا لجها الله وحليرة هذا كيل كيرير عم بدت كيرير في وشر وحنا محلدي كذا والدين تين يا وياشين يا أي دقة نقول هانجه صوت وعدة كهدا عن شوفنا كني معها وحنا لنا هاي مرتبة لنا هاي وحنا لنا هاي تقن عربيات لنا هاي وحنا لنا هاي ما دي من الدالة يوم ما ما هي عجيبة وهذا قد كير للبروح لأقوال المقرية أبدا نسوي دوينا يا عاونا كتير قلب وما ستي ولكنني اردت ان أرورتنا أبى وفرح سين عوض إن أركان جديد دقن كنا ودقن كنا لبراء ما هذين دقن كجالة لبراء ما شاء الله جهلوا كنا ولا يجيب بدوية مجيئين وفي سوا وعوا إن السلام يا وعوا